Thank you again for including us in your virtual Wooden Boat Show 2021. What you're going to get from us today is a tour of the Schooner Hindu Rebuild in progress. It began summer 2020. We'll also tell you a little bit about how the Hindu came to be here in this barn in Thomaston and um, a little bit about the materials that we're using, the workmanship involved in the rebuild, and some of the stories along the way. Uh, my name is Erin and I'm the manager of Schooner Hindu. This is my fiance Josh. Josh Rowan. And I'm here uh, mostly as a, uh, as a captain and advisor for this project. We have uh, two incredible shipwrights, uh, Mike Rogers and Simon Larson, and uh, we'll show you some of the work that they've done on the boat and give you a tour inside the barn if you want to follow me. So the Hindu was built in 1925 by the Hodgden brothers in East Booth Bay, Maine. She was designed by a famous designer, boat designer, named William Hand Jr., who used a lot of the vessels that he designed. He was super prolific, and many of those vessels were designed to be a great uh, mix of stability and speed. He was very interested in fishing. One of the most interesting I think stories about Hindu is that she started her life off as a yacht and then was taken into the Navy in 1939 and she actually served almost 3,000 pages of log in World War II as a sub patrol boat in the Hooligan Navy. Um, it was one of the captains of that uh, of a Hooligan vessel actually it was the Ticonderoga um, who wanted to bring a schooner back to Provincetown, his hometown, and his name was Al Abelar. And he had his pick. Most of the boats were mothballed and were just left there, um, kind of without a home after the war. And he picked Hindu because of her, her naval architect, William Hand, but also just her good lines and her, her size. She's like, the perfect size schooner. She's a half model of a fishing schooner and she she holds herself very gracefully and her proportions are just just right. And I think that's the reason that she's still here today is that she came back um, and started sailing trips out of Provincetown. It was there that Al Abelar, while sailing the Hindu with clients on board, discovered people's fascination with whales and the late summer in August usually the whales come into the bay where the Hindu would be sailing in, outside of Provincetown and people were just so enamored by the whales which he later discovered was where he really wanted to go with the business. The, the Hindu has been sailing in Provincetown in the summertime since 1946 She's got generations of people in the same families, even, who have crewed on the Hindu, who have gone out for sunsets, who have charters, etc., um, who know the boat and love the boat, and we feel really grateful to be a part of that lineage. We're looking at a vessel that's nearing 100 years old. If you look at her backbone structure, you can see there have been some repairs over the years. This was done about 15 years ago, a new stem and knee. Um, this piece here uh, was done sometime, we think, in the 70s or 80s by the Avalars. And then this piece right here is original, as far as we know. Um, this is the beginning of the forefoot. Um, and then if you look down, you can see we've already replaced the keel where the forefoot goes into uh, the keel with the new Purple Heart keel. Coming through the Long Island Sound at about three o'clock in the morning and I was on watch. Everything looked good. It was very dark as it usually is at that time. And we were in 150 feet of water with an outgoing tide and suddenly the boat 
went up as if we were going aground. We had hit a submerged vessel that was sabotaged by its owners. Holes actually drilled in the hull, but we didn't find that out until about two months later. So anyway, the Hindu um, sustained some damage during that strike, which we found out the extensiveness of it in a province town. We had the boat lifted out of the water by cranes when we got there. And so when we, we hit this boat, um, we were traveling about seven and a half knots and came to a full stop in less than half a boat length. And that, what that did is the first impact of the boat was right here. Um, you can see that it actually hit so hard that it pushed the stem right here over five eighths of an inch, which blew out all of these planks um, up to this plank right here. And all of the planking under the water here all opened up as well. Um, what that meant is we had some down flooding um, from that. Also, if you look back down here, you can see that um, the forefoot actually just broke apart. It couldn't take that kind of a, of a lateral impact. So the way that the impact happened, this is the bow of the boat. We hit the back of the boat like this on an angle. And so it pushed the stem over. So everything moved to starboard um, from the port side. And then these planks compressed and they popped out. Uh, welcome aboard the Hindu. Um, as you can see, the Hindu is in a state of repair or disrepair. Um, we actually have more new frames now than old, which is a good point in uh, the turn of a project. So, if you look at the framing we've done here, uh, this is this is kind of roughed in and it still needs fairing. But you can see, you know, we're cutting curves out of crooked branches and trunks um, you get less grain run out which makes for a stronger product uh, the more perfectly the shape of the branch meets the shape of the hull the fewer butts you can have um, it's all and it's just stronger uh, in smaller boats you don't have that problem because usually they're uh, they're framed with uh, smaller stock that you steam bend into shape, as you may or may not be familiar with. And with that, you get no grain on that. But when you need, you know, a big rugged frame, this is, it's really kind of the only way to go. Uh, we're sourcing this wood locally. Uh, some of the trees, a local uh, sawmill operator has found for us and cut for us. Um, Others, uh, we've resorted to knocking on people's doors when we see locust trees in the yard. And some of this stuff literally went right from stump to the boat within a matter of weeks. Um, we can get away with that in the framing. Uh, a little bit of dimensional change in the framing is not, is not troublesome. Like in order to shape these frames, um, gone with a number there's a number of tricks uh, sometimes if the frame that we remove is in good enough shape we can use it as a rough pattern and then we fuss fit it in changing bevels and whatnot but more often uh, we in most sections of the hull as we were framing we had already removed the planking and so we we hung these battens or ribbands up um, we also did some tweaking to the shape to repair and correct some irregularities in the boat's shape over the years. Anyway, uh, so we make a pattern off of these ribbands uh, with usually with hot glue and little sticks of wood to define the shape of the frame. And uh, it's a matter of refining the bevels because they change as you go up and we cut that all on this bandsaw here. I enjoy wood, obviously. And so this was one of, um, this is what I decided to do for a boat shop. Um, it's a little bit overkill. Um, Aaron will tell you why. We're, uh, we're actually planning on eventually having a, uh, a 
Go ahead, Aaron. <laughs> well, as you can probably tell with the background noise here, we ended up on Route 1. It's been amazing in terms of visibility. We didn't even realize that that would be such a key factor for this project. bottom half of this structure from the vents down, from the rafters down, um, will be available for the Hindu and for her sister ship, the Bloodhound, when and if they need to be dry docked. Um, they're going to need a wooden boat, so they're going to continue to need repairs throughout their lifetime, and this barn will be available for them to do that, as well as other small vessels in the area. Um, we're happy to offer this as a facility to the wooden boat community as a whole. Thank you so much for joining us on this tour of the Schooner Hindu and the Boat Barn in Thomaston, Maine. If you want to follow along with the project, you can do so on our website, which is saleschoonerhindu.com or on Instagram or Facebook. <laughs> and the links will be in the notes below. Thank you so much. Have a great day.